Nice night out tonight, eh guys? It's going to be a nice day tomorrow. Anyways, just want to show you guys this. I finally got it back off the the guy that I was trying to get it back of, off. Finally sold it back to me. After four years of bugging him, three or four years, he finally sold it back to me. Just to the people that doesn't know, this is a 1985 Chevy S10. It has a diesel in it, inline 4, 2.2. It's a uh, standard 5 speed. Does need a bit of work. The guy painted it a bit darker blue. You guys probably can't see, but. Because there's a light on the camera, but the, uh, the paint is a bit of darker blue. But not too too bad see the box I'm gonna have to refix I'm gonna have to fix the box or try to get a new one somewhere as you can see it's all all rotten out the floor has collapsed in the box so I guess that's why the guy put a piece of plywood in here but it's not uh, it's not too too bad I'm gonna be doing the same thing that I did on my uh, my 91 s10 so it's gonna be a body off restoration to the other side here I took off the mirror here because I'm gonna be putting the smaller ones on. I had the big ones, the bigger, fatter ones there in, in right here. I got it in the side of the truck. I'll show you guys after. See the, the color paint I'm going for is this one right here. That was the original color, and that's what would be going. That's what's going back on the truck. That bumper is going to be changed. It's going, it's going to be black as the original was. Well, the or, like the original was black, so I'm going to take off this chrome one and put a nice black one here. And the grill is going to, all that's going to, going to go. It's going to be all one piece. It's going to be a nice chrome one with a little Chevy emblem in the middle. See, that's the fatty mirror I was talking about, the bigger one. I'm going to go for the smaller one. I think it looks better with the truck itself. This is the interior. The seat is going to go because I got, got the original that I'm putting back in. doesn't have the, the cup holder and all that. reason there's lots of wires there is because some the guy I got it off had put a CD player in it and I'm going to be I'm going to attempt to take that out but all the wires are screwed up pretty bad I guess he spliced spliced and diced them or whatever he did but I'm going to see if I can figure that out this thing here is falling down a bit going to have to replace that But the floor itself, it's probably too dark for you guys to see, but right, let me try to get a bit of light here. It's not too, too bad back here. Like, the floor is good. So, 
Um, you guys probably can't see the kilometers, but it has 300 and let me see if I can zoom in. 307, 149. I mean, 449. It's in uh, it's in pretty good shape. Interior is like almost the same, except this wiring job here. Whoever did the wiring job did a really bad wiring job. If you guys know anything about this, please tell me. There's some spliced wires that figure out what where to go. I know there's some speaker wires in here, and no, it's gonna be a headache to do. There's the panel that's going back on it. And I'm gonna have the I have the original um, AM PM uh, radio that's gonna go in. Um, see, everything's in good shape. Bottom one here came up. There you go. Well, that's it. Everything works. It's gonna, it's gonna be on the road eventually. Like I said, I'm gonna re be redoing the body like I did my my other truck, and uh, it's gonna be a frame off uh, restoration. Like I said, heater works, works good. Now, I know you guys would want to I know you guys would want me to start this thing, but it's been a while so uh maybe tomorrow. And uh well, you know what? I'll I'll start it.